This is Representative Steve Handy in Legislative District 16, covering the eastern part of Layton and parts of Clearfield and Hill Air Force Base. I hope you are all staying safe and healthy in this unprecedented time. We are going to get through this, but the next 10 days are critical as we self-quarantine, practice social distancing, and work very hard to flatten the curve of exposure. I want to point you to an incredible website put up by the state of Utah. It's www.coronavirus.utah.gov. That's www.coronavirus.utah.gov. If you'll check it daily and are interested, you can see how many confirmed cases of COVID-19 there are in the state and by county. You can also see how many have been tested. So far, there is one fatality, and our collective condolences certainly go out to that family. You should know that there are at least a dozen COVID-19 working groups meeting nearly daily, and they are considering all options, including a shelter-in-place order. All options are on the table. At this site, you will also see both a press conference and a plan for economic recovery that has been produced by some of the smartest minds in Utah and directed by Governor Herbert. It's entitled, Economic Response Plan, Utah Leads Together, a plan for economic recovery. It includes three components, adapt, innovate, and recover. You should check this out. Utah has consistently had the best economy in the country, and I believe that with this plan, we'll be able to recover and hopefully relatively quickly. The website also provides guidance about help for those who have lost their jobs, primarily in the restaurant and hospitality industries. Our collective hearts go out to them. Please go to the website and then apply at jobs.utah.gov. Please tell your loved ones to apply and regardless of how many hours they were previously getting. As this crisis began to become apparent at the end of the recently concluded legislative session, we were able to appropriate $24 million to bolster Utah's response to the outbreak and especially to help our elderly senior citizens who are the most vulnerable. As the crisis progresses, it is becoming increasingly clear that the legislature will have to come back for a special session to make budget adjustments, but nothing has been scheduled. That's about it, and I wanted to share this with you. One final thing, and it's this. While government has a very important role at all levels, we shouldn't totally rely on it. We will get through this as we work together in our families and neighborhoods and various communities, be they faith, business, political, or social. Even book clubs can be virtual, and today's technology is amazing to assess us in communicating and connecting with family and friends, which is vital to our emotional health as human beings. All the best, and thanks for listening.